I still remember the day I got my first glasses. Suddenly I could see individual straws of grass instead of a green blur. And finally I got to see what the teacher wrote on the whiteboard. I'm incredibly short-sighted. Without spectacles or contact lenses, I would not have been able to get through school. I would have to give up work at a young age and, well, I would most probably be dead since there were so many blurry stairs to fall from and fussy cars to run me over. Imagine then what life was like in a world without optical lenses, a world destined to be a bit blurry for most people forever. Some people's eyeballs are too long, some are too short, or their lens is too flat or too curved. It makes it difficult to see things that are close or far away. Ancient scientists understood that the light could hit the right spot in the eye if you could find a way to bend it. But how do you do that? Some place a transparent mineral, like quartz, on the page of a book as a natural magnifying glass. The philosopher Seneca read by looking through a large glass bowl filled with water. At some point, someone must have thought, wait, what if I could just have a bowl of water in front of my eyes all the time? Not possible until the 13th century, when Venetians developed convex glass lenses that are thick in the middle, formed like lentils. That's actually how optical lenses got their name. The Venetians had invented the world's first reading glasses. Later on, other glassmakers made concave lenses that were thicker at the edges to spread out the light, and so helps people like me see things that are farther away. Today, some 75% of Americans use some form of vision correction, making it possible for them to learn in school and be productive at work. But especially in poor countries, hundreds of millions of people who need spectacles don't have them. It's been estimated that the global economy would be more than $200 billion bigger if everyone who needed glasses had them. Around 1600, Dutch scientists came up with another exceptional idea. By combining concave and convex lenses, they could build telescopes and microscopes. Amazingly, the pursuit to see what was before our very eyes soon made it possible for humans to see tiny cells, to take us into the micro world to study viruses and bacteria and fight disease. And it made it possible for us to peer out into the farthest reaches of the universe, to distant galaxies, and even to observe light from the dawn of the universe. Not bad for an animal that once had a hard time seeing what was in front of his nose. Hey, check out these other great videos from Free to Choose Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updated on episodes of New and Improved with me, Johan Norberg.